When adding uh, a high number of fillets to any SolidWorks model, uh, it can be quite time consuming. So SolidWorks uh, a few years ago introduced the Fillet Expert. Uh, this particular tool is a great way to quicken up the whole process uh, of adding fillets quickly and easily and also modifying them. So I'm just going to run through uh, a, a relatively brief example of how the Fillet Expert can work. So we're just going to add a normal fillet. And in this case, I'm going to click on the Fillet Expert option and we're going to choose a value of 3 millimeters. If I click on this top edge on here, you'll see that the first thing is we get a preview, but also we get a little call out. And then what this allows us is to select multiple edges that are connected to that original selection. In this case, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to go and th run through all the options. You can see them highlighted. We're going to just going to click on this option here, which is 20 edges all connected. And you can see straight away we get a preview very quickly. And I'm just going to hit the apply button. The nice thing about the Filler Expert tool is that we don't actually have to come out of the command. We've still actually got the command active. So I'm going to change the value. I'm going to choose 2. And I'm just going to click on this particular edge on here. And again, I'm going to use the uh, selection option. And we're going to go with the left loop to select 7 edges. So again, just hit the apply. Now again, while still in the command, I'm just going to flip this particular model over, as you can see. And I'd just like to zoom in a little bit. And we're going to select this particular edge, but I need to change the value to be one millimeter. And if I click on this particular edge here, you, again, you can see we've got our call out. We've got the right loop connected to the start face, etc. What we're going to do is actually run along. And we want to go with this connected again, all 107 edges. So again, by clicking on that option, it will give me a preview. And again, I can hit apply very quickly. We've now been able to add all those fillets. Now, one thing that might occur from time to time is uh, the fact is that we might have some edges that have been selected uh, that we'd no longer want to have filleted. And we'll take this example here. So I'm going to look at uh, the options in Fillet Expert. And if I click on the change option, and then we'll actually just select these four fillets. And you can see the filter command is already active. So I can actually just select these. Might need to just zoom in a little, little bit. OK, and there we go. We'll select that one. And again, we'll select that one on there. Now, rather than actually resize them, I have got the option to remove them. So I'm not searching through my feature tree to see which fillet is which. And you can see those actual fillets have now been removed. Again, if we flip our model over, what we can do is look at this particular corner area that we filleted earlier on. Now, what we'd like to do is actually change the size. Now, this was 3 millimeter, if you remember. So in this case, all I'm going to do is actually change this to be 2 and click on those two particular edges. And all I need to do now is actually click on the resize. The one thing I would like to point out is basically look at these corners. Now, once we hit the resize option, you can see that these have now actually been resized, as you can see. But the problem is the corners have now changed. Now, this is down to the order in which the fillets have been created. Now, originally, these were all done in, as one. But because we've resized this, it tends to go with the largest fillet first. Hence, we've now got a different corner if we'd have actually selected that interior edge prior to the outside ones. So no need to worry. If we click on the corner option, and actually all we need to do is actually click on the actual corner itself. If I then click on the show alternative button, it will actually give me a little preview of the two corners that are available, depending on which particular edge I choose, choose first. Now here's the one I would like. So all I need to do is just click on that particular edge or that particular corner, should I say, and you can see this has now changed. The nice thing about this is I can do the same over to the other side. Alternatively, if I actually click on that particular corner and like I would choose the option to copy it, I click in here and say, well, copy that corner to that corner and just select the copy to. And you can see that has easily changed that one as well. So a great way to actually improve your filleting ability.